So in this video, we are going to see how we can use value operators provided in SAP ABAP 7.4 onwards. Value operator constructs an initial value for any data type basically. It means it can be used to construct a structure or an internal table. We can also assign values to each of the column or the lines. So let's create a simple program to understand how we can use the value operators. And operator executable save and the local object. So let's first define a local structure. And uh, we will be having two fields carrier ID with type S underscore RR ID carrier name with type S underscore carrier name. Okay, now let's use a value operator to create a structure with two columns having some values. So those columns will be your carrier ID and your carrier name. So we will be defining a structure ls underscore rr and we will use a value operator and we'll give a type here what type it is tva underscore scarr and then what are the fields available in this structure carrier id which will have a value say a a and clear name which will have a value american airlines now let's display let's go output display and uh, provide the structure name activate and execute so here we see a new structure has been created with two fields carrier id and carrier name which are having two values aa and american airlines so this is one way which we can use a value operator to create a structure now let's create a table for this now we will create a table and for that let's create a data type so data lt underscore type standard table of ty underscore carr 
so lt underscore c a r r is equal to use the value operator and here we will be using a hash keyword why we can use hash keyword here is because this lt underscore s c a r r which is the internal table is already defined with a specific type here which is t y underscore s c a r r which is having two fields carrier id and carrier name so if a table is directly defined with a specific type then you no need to define the structure type or the type here with the value operator okay so now here we have two fields in this internal table now we will be filling out this internal table with the different values so hash and now here we will be putting different values so the first field is carrier id is equal to again aa and carrier name is equal to american airlines and paste then intended lines and PA uh, British Airlines okay so in this structure we have in this internal table we have updated it with three different rows basically now let's display this will be LT and uh, need to change it to right yeah so this is a structure with two columns and one row and this is the same internal table with the same structure we have defined here with three different rows so the main difference where you can use this hash and where you cannot use the hash basically depends if you are defining your internal table or structure like this without having a specific structure type basically you're defining it dynamic basically in that case you need to use a specific structure type with the value operator and if you already have defined a table or internal table with specific structure like we have done here and we are storing the data in this internal table here then you do not need to provide a specific structure type here the hash will work so this is the main difference where you can use the hash and where you need to provide the specific structure type so that's all for this video thanks for watching if you like the content please subscribe to my channel thank you